all right hello there guys uh, welcome back to another video um, today we're just looking at a, something that I made uh, within my course that I'm doing um, of software engineering or ma software engineering major um, so we got this is one of the tutorials we had to do uh, I obviously can't show you the code for that because um, well yeah I just can't because of the fact that it's relating to a degree that other people could come on here and find um, but this is the sort of thing we're doing um, so we got given this grid which you can click on and put stuff around on it and what we had to do is we had to program it so the game of life works so what the rules of the game of life were were it had to check around the square like say this one here it had to check around that these singular squares plus minus whatever the coordinate position and if it had if an active square, which is a red one, had two opposing active squares, so say that one and that one, so that one has two, it will then um, stay alive, whereas that one, if it has only one opposing square, it will die. The other rule was these squares here, if they had three within their three surrounding, then they will become alive. So this one here, this square here, will become alive because it's got these three and this square here will become alive so it has this square. So we had to work out how that worked, how to check for that and uh, that sort of thing. So if I run this you'll see all those other ones die and that one stays alive because it's continually uh, recalculating. So you can do some cool patterns with this like um, if you just, just draw around for a bit, um, draw some weird shapes, see what happens. So if you do that sort of thing like kind of mutates and goes around and gets a bit bigger um, and then it gets to an equilibrium position and makes a few of these and continues going whatever and then it stops and kills things and there you go and so that, that reached like an equilibrium position in the end and so this is the sort of thing we we doing we, we were doing um, you can do lots of shapes with this thing, uh, there's a uh, bit so there's like there's like other ones online, but obviously with bigger boards. This one has got a set size of 30 by 30. Um, obviously, like I made mine dynamic, so you can make it bigger and it still works. So so such and such. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, and thanks for watching. See you.